Good afternoon. It's a late session for me, just an hour or so up to dark, and I'm off the mark with this roach. As you can see there, it's a lively one, a small one, but it's been such a difficult January so far. I'm happy whenever I go out and catch a fish. And after all, this is my target species in this short session to the River Stour. Cast out again. There is a little bit of water on the river and it's not ideal because it's also bringing down a lot of debris. So the bait isn't out there for very long before it starts to gather all the leaves and stuff that's been washed down. However, I've also had a few little taps as well around that fish. So I'm quite happy to be off the mark, of course, but also hopeful that I will be able to add to the tally as well. And I'm getting again, a couple of little taps there. I'm fishing with a single red maggot on a size 18 hook, a small lead, and a one pound six ounce hook length. So fishing quite fine because after all we are in winter, the middle of January. Well, actually we've just passed the halfway mark of the month and another roach there. Just past the halfway mark of the month and time certainly flies, doesn't it? As I have been catching recently from the river, small roach. Nothing big on my visits in 2021, but due to the conditions and how difficult it has been, I tell you something, they're all very welcome indeed. It's a Saturday and I always like to get an angling blog entry in on that particular day because the very first Saturday of 2003, I published my first blog entry. And for a number of years, it was a weekly event. Then it became a couple of times a week. Now it's a couple of times a day, sometimes three times, four times, it depends what I've got to talk about. I did watch a football game this afternoon before I left home. Wolves versus West Bromwich Albion. And funnily enough, my thought for the day tomorrow is based on football. However, it was planned before the result of today's game, but nevertheless, all very relevant. And on the subject of the thought for the day, which I've been doing this year, posting one every day, it's been going down really well. I've had some excellent feedback, which has been well appreciated. Let me just pull in a little bit there. I think I might have a tangle not a fish but they've been very well received I've got tangled around the the uh, the reel there that's now detangled they've been very well received and I've had a number of comments both publicly also privately as well so if you're enjoying those great let's encourage each other we live in a world don't we that's that's quite brutal and especially social media. However, when you encourage other people, you get encouraged yourself. When you're kind to others, you get blessed. That's the way to go, isn't it? And I'm a great believer in life that you reap what you sow. And that's why, although Wolves lost this afternoon at home to West Bromwich Albion, I've had no abuse. I've had no taunts or mocking messages of any description. Why? Because I don't give them out when the boot's on the other foot. When Wolves have been flying in the last couple of seasons and West Bromwich have been in the second tier of English football, it hasn't bothered me. I'm more interested in focusing on my own team rather than the shortcomings of the other side. Same as Scottish football, I'm a Rangers fan. That's my Scottish team and Rangers at the moment are doing great. Of course, it's wonderful to see, but nevertheless, it won't bother me what happens to Celtic. I won't be on their social media 
probably posting more about Celtic than I am about Rangers or posting more about your opposition side than your own team. It's all about perspective, isn't it? And personal vision. Anyway, I'm quite hopeful. Now that I've, I've got amongst the fish, I'm putting some ground bait out. I'm mixing it really firm, putting a few maggots in there and then putting it just this side of the, of the main flow so that although I'm picking up the debris, as I said earlier, it's not as bad as it could be if I was out there another foot or so. If you want to know what fishing tackle I'm using today, check out the blog entry that goes with the video and I'll list it. No fish on that occasion, but you can see just a, just a minimal amount of of stuff. I've got a loop to loop knot there by the way. That's always going to catch the debris and then there's always something that will gather around the lead. But as long as you can keep the hook bait free, then you want to a winner. Right, let me get the, I think, think I need my glasses for this one. <laughs> I can see the sun 93 million miles away, but I do struggle sometimes with what's going on under my nose. Baiting in the dark this is. <laughs> and if you wear glasses then you'll know what I mean. I need them for close range things. Not distance. Put the bait out, let that drop there and who knows I could be back with another roach. And indeed, I am. I'm having a lot of small roach activity, not showing all of them to the camera. Probably the, the smallest so far, certainly a tiny fish. Talking of West Bromwich Albion though, let me give a shout out to Chris Jones and his sister Faith both big West Brom supporters. They'll be happy today and I'm happy because I'm catching small roach in January. <laughs>